Go to our forecast, 54 degrees, still some droplets of rain coming down yeah. as coming into work. And we've got some lightning and thunder out there, so don't be yeah. surprised. Middle of the night wake up calls might oh, come in for some folks. It's not a lot, but it'll happen with this cold layer at the surface. You're going to hear some pretty loud thunder overnight if we do get some more lightning strikes. This is a live view from our Mr. Sparky Carolina camera network in Monroe. We're going to see the rain moving out. That's the key part. It's going to be rainy overnight, but by the time you wake up, the tail end will already be moving out and better weather by the afternoon. Sunny and warm for your Friday back up in the 70s and for the weekend, we'll call it Easter perfection because the weather is just going to be absolutely gorgeous. There's the scattered showers and it doesn't look like much, but these are what we call elevated thunderstorms. We talked about these last night. There's some warm air above the surface that's helping to produce these and because it's cold down at the ground, you're going to get a thunder that's going to echo in between that and temperature version. So when we do get a lightning strike, the thunder will be quite loud. We've only seen about 11 or so in the last 15 minutes, but there's an, a couple more trying to develop down here as we see them push off to the northeast. What's happening is the front is trying to push east, but low pressure is forming down to our southeast and that low is pushing moisture back in up and over the front and that's what's driving our thunderstorm development. So when we look at the rain chances 11 o'clock tonight, pretty scattered to chance all the way through the morning. Notice once we get past sunrise tomorrow, Rain chances go down and we should be dry by the afternoon and into Friday. So we just got to get through probably the next 12 hours or so and we should be fine. We've got the flash flood watch up for eastern North Carolina and central North Carolina. That's where the heavy rain is going to be overnight as the low pressure system cranks up and moves up the coast. But notice how we dry out on the backside after sunrise tomorrow. Really heavy rain along the coast. If you go in that direction tomorrow, it could run into some pretty big pockets of rain. But then going into Friday and Saturday, we get on the backside of this high pressure clockwise flow there. Southwest wind, that's the blowtorch around here. That's the warmest flow of air you're going to see. And that means really warm air moving into the Carolinas. So let's go hour by hour overnight. Scattered showers through about, I'd say, daybreak. Temperatures in the 40s overnight. Tomorrow, if we get some sun, we could get up there into the low 60s briefly. We'll have a chilly night going into Friday morning. Could even see some 30s. So a very cold start to your Friday, but a quick turnaround with the wind shifting direction. We should get back close to 70, if not low 70s for Friday afternoon. And that warm pattern continues. Look at this big ridge. You see it coming up through the Gulf of Mexico. Big area of high pressure in the mid levels of the atmosphere. This flow like this is a warm flow. All the cold air gets pushed up to the north. So for the holiday weekend, really warm air, but don't plant those gardens just yet. Middle of next week, maybe one last blast of cold air where we'll have a frost or a freeze. I think it's going to be a frost. Here's the weekend forecast. Just gorgeous. Mid 70s Saturday, near 80 for Easter Sunday. It really is going to be an absolutely picture perfect weekend. We are going to see warm temperatures for most of the weekend into early next week. Tomorrow, nice rebound in temperatures back into the 60s after that morning cloud cover and shower activity. Got a roofing seven day forecast. You can see that 80 Sunday, but probably low 80s on Monday. Pretty strong front on Tuesday could bring some storms. That's the night's home opener as we look 10 days into the future. That's that cool down next week, which could bring 30s and 40s, so possible frost by the end of next week.